Hi everyone! Counting spring break, it's been about a month since we've actually had class together, and uh, it's definitely been hard. I'm starting to lose track of days in this tiny apartment. But um, let's talk about what's new. Uh, I got a foosball table, just found it on the side of the road. Um, and I thought we could bring it to uh, the school and maybe put it up in the uh, secret robot fighting area. <laughs> um, or uh, whatever, we can maybe find a spot for it. But yeah, the legs need to be fixed, but uh, I think it would be kind of cool. Um, and they actually released their new virtual worlds called Vex VR, and it's kind of similar to Robot Mesh Studio. Uh, and it looks, I've, I've taken a look and it looks like it does have some potential, um, but it doesn't allow for customization to the robot as far as I can see. Uh, it's made out of weird VEX VR custom parts that kind of look more like VEX IQ. Um, and it only allows block decoding. So I think this would be great for people who are super beginner introducing uh, them to VEX robotics. Um, but uh, I don't think it's enough for what I want us to be doing. Uh, so I don't recommend that we switch over from Robot Mesh Studio, despite its quirks. Uh, but if that does change in the future, if things get more flexible and they start implementing C++, uh, uh, the ability to code like VEX code text in VEX VR, then yeah, we can switch uh, if people want. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd address that because it was something that students have been asking about. Um, but speaking of coding, uh, that's the other reason why I wanted to post this video. Uh, I did decide to put together a bunch of um, introduction tutorials specifically for C++ um, that talk about key concepts and things that you'll need to know for Coding Challenge 3, but also beyond that, just important concepts, hopefully to fill in some of the gaps, um, even for experienced coders. If you are self-taught, um, and you haven't looked at any tutorials ever, uh, this might help you fill in a little bit of the gaps in like vocabulary and syntax that um, you might uh, be like, oh, hey, I didn't know that. And so I recommend that you watch those videos, everyone watch the videos. Um, and you still need to complete Coding Challenge 3, even though I haven't really released any updates until now. Yes, it still needs to be completed. That will be part of your term three mark. Um, if you've already done Coding Challenge 3 using Blockly, you could just, why not switch to try to use C++ to do it. Um, try to watch the videos and say, oh, okay, this isn't that bad, and then give it a shot. Um, each tutorial has uh, a lot of examples. Um, you can uh, take all of those examples, make copies of them, modify them. They don't specifically look at um, Coding Challenge 3 at first, it's just like concepts, but then you, the idea is that you take those concepts and you apply them to the challenge. Um, so I talk about uh, variables and data types first, and then I talk about functions, and then I talk about loops. Um, and yeah, there's lots of examples, all the slides are available as well. Um, and I did create one last video which specifically looks at Coding Challenge 3, but please don't watch that video until you watch the other three, just to make sure that you have a fundamental understanding before diving in, because I, the last thing I want is for people to um, start coding right away to try to meet the challenge and then um, have no idea what each of the things they're doing does, or like, oh, I'm writing this, but I don't know why I'm writing this. That's the, that's the reason why I made the videos. I want you to try to understand how things actually work, the foundation things, then, um, then you apply that. Um, yeah, so make sure you watch the three videos first before you watch the Coding Challenge 3 video. Um, and I'm also open to making other tutorials. So if there are specific things related to C++ or whatever concepts that you'd like to learn, um, post in the comments below and I would happily uh, make more videos like that um, so that we can keep up some of our skills while we're in quarantine. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, I miss you guys and 
Uh, I hope you're all doing all right. Um, and uh, let's keep on working on stuff and keep in communication. If you ever have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.